with the introduction of Flowgrid on version 3, um, Devon has made a couple of major improvements, in my opinion. Um, the, f the first one is introducing the idea of using Turtle, which I'll do a video for later. Um, Turtle's a great little logo uh, student teaching tool, so bringing that into Flowgrid is awesome. But probably the best thing he's done is adding basic file handling, so we can now teach uh, file handling. So I've done a, a demonstration and I've got to create, create a couple of um, uh, useful functions for file handling. So what function I'm going to look at today is I've done one that will work out the, the size of a file. So how many lines in your text file, because it is just a text file reader. Um, and that will be useful because then you can use that to populate an array with the data. And once you've got the the um, data and array, you can process it. So two useful features, I hope. Um, file size and file to array. So let's have a look. So we're going to step through. First thing it does is ask us for the name of the file. So I've got a file called uh, one to ten dot txt. Now I'll show you that file. So it's just a text file with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines, all of them containing integer values. So enter that. And we still there's a file name. And we step through. I'll move this into the screen, you don't see what's on there. I'll step through. So first thing we're looking at is, is finding out how big the file is, how many lines. So it basically opens it up and just has a counter that reads through the data very quickly to get to the end of the file, counts how many lines, and returns that value. That means once I know how many uh, lines I've got, I can create an array of that size. Now you'll notice here I'm doing everything in strings. Now this makes sense because it doesn't matter if the data you use is integer or string. If you declare your, if you read your text file in the strings and you read it into an array as a string. If it's a string, that's fine. If it's text, it's fine. Um, if you need an integer, then you just use the built-in function, um, the where is it gone, to, uh, to integer to pro as you're processing it. So once it's in a string format, you can either convert it to an integer if you need to when you're processing it, or you can leave it in a string for displaying. So it makes sense to deal everything in, uh, as a string. So here we go. So array created with 10 items, one for each one. And then if I step through file to array, it's going to reread the data and place it all in this array. So there we go. It's basically the same. Well, not in the file, pull the data in. And I'm now reading that into an array. And that's the job done. So what have we got here? We've got an example of Devin's new file open file reading tool. I'm using that to find out how big a file is, how many lines of content in the file, and in my particular case, it's just a, a list of 10 numbers. And then I'm using that to create an array, so I can store each line in an array and then process that data later. Hope you found that useful.